Have you ever wondered about the disturbing prevalence of school shootings in the United States? This is not an easy or pleasant topic to bring up, and the discussion can often lead to discomfort. Many people understandably would prefer to avoid it completely. However, it is a subject matter that demands our attention and understanding. School shootings have a complex, dark, and disturbing history in the United States. The issue is often referred to as a modern phenomenon, a label that only adds more layers of complexity. While it's true that isolated incidents of school shootings have been recorded history, what we've been witnessing in recent times is exceptional and deeply disturbing. We've seen an escalating number of mass shootings, specifically defined as incidents with multiple casualties, becoming more frequent since the 1990s. This recent surge in violence has been nothing short of alarming, prompting widespread concern and debate. What is driving this increase? Why are these horrific acts becoming more common? Some of the most infamous cases that often come to mind include the massacre at Columbine High School in 1999 and the unimaginable loss of innocent lives at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012. These tragedies shook our nation to the core, provoking a renewed sense of urgency to address the issue. Defining a school shooting is a challenge in and of itself. There is no universally accepted single definition, some definitions are broad, encompassing any incident where a firearm is discharged within a school building or on school property. Other definitions are narrower, focusing only on incidents that result in injury or death. Data, however, paint a clear and troubling picture. The incidence of school shootings is on the rise. The statistics are chilling, with a persistently increasing trend that has everyone on edge. The numbers are difficult to comprehend, yet they represent real lives, real families, and real communities forever changed by senseless violence. Several resources are dedicated to tracking these disturbing trends. One such organization is the Center for Homeland Defense and Security, which keeps a meticulous record of incidents where a gun is brandished or fired on school property. This gives us a more comprehensive picture, including incidents that maybe didn't make national news. The data from these sources underscore the grim reality of our present situation. The year 2022 in particular stands as a stark reminder of the growing crisis. It saw the highest number of school shootings since the tragedy at Columbine. The conversations around this topic are numerous and multifaceted, touching on everything from gun control to mental health. It's evident that there is no quick fix, no single solution that will end this distressing trend. Each incident is a heartbreaking reminder of the importance of addressing this issue, of striving for a safer future for our children. These discussions aren't easy. They're fraught with disagreement and emotion, yet they are necessary. We owe it to our children and our communities to face this issue head on, to seek understanding and to relentlessly search for solutions. Sadly, the year 2022 saw the highest number of school shootings since Columbine. Easy access to firearms is a major contributing factor in the chilling phenomenon of school shootings. It's a sobering reality that most of the guns used in these horrifying incidents are obtained from the homes or immediate family members of the perpetrators, a fact that underscores the urgent need for meticulous gun safety measures and strict monitoring within the household. Statistics show that a large number of these weapons are not acquired through illicit means, but are instead taken from what should be the safest place for these young individuals, their homes. Internationally, the United States bears the dubious distinction of having a significantly higher rate of school shootings compared to other developed nations. This disparity is staggering and prompts many to question why the world's largest economy and a global powerhouse struggles with such a grave problem. The issue has been put under the microscope numerous times dissected by experts, and discussed at length in various forums. Yet the figures seem to rise with each passing year, raising a plethora of questions about the country's gun control laws, mental health support, and school safety measures. Debates regarding these factors have been fueled by these tragic incidents, sparking passionate arguments on both sides of the political divide. Gun control in particular has proven to be a contentious issue with proponents advocating for stricter laws and opponents citing constitutional rights and the need for self-defense. 
School shootings in their early incarnations often involved the perpetrator targeting specific individuals. In these instances, the shootings could be attributed to personal vendettas, relationship issues, or other interpersonal conflicts. However, over time, there's been a horrifying shift towards mass shootings, where the objective appears to be a higher casualty count. This evolution in the modus operandi of school shooters has plunged society deeper fear and uncertainty, making it clear that this issue extends beyond personal grudges. Motives for these shootings are as varied as they are terrifying. They can range from revenge for perceived slights or bullying, to a desperate bid to seek notoriety and etch their names in the annals of infamy. Mental health issues also play a significant role in many of these incidents, often combined with other factors to create a combustible mix of intense anger and despair. One of the most disturbing aspects of this phenomenon is the potential for media coverage to inspire copycat actions. In an age of instantaneous news and viral social media posts, the risk of impressionable minds emulating these horrific acts is higher than ever before. Therefore, responsible reporting that focuses on the victims and avoids glorifying the perpetrators is crucial. The way media reports on these tragedies could help shape public perception and influence policy changes that can prevent such incidents in the future. It is a collective responsibility that we must bear to ensure that the narrative stays focused on the true cost of these tragedies, the innocent lives lost and the communities left devastated. By doing so, we might take a step towards preventing such unfathomable acts of violence from recurring. Many schools have implemented measures like metal detectors, security guards, and lockdown drills. This is a response to escalating concerns about safety in schools across the nation and around the globe. The intended purpose is to create a safer environment for students and staff alike, a place where learning and growth can occur without looming threat of violence or danger. The effectiveness of these safety measures, however, has been a topic of intense debate among educators, policymakers, parents and students. Critics argue that such measures might not be the most effective way to address the issue. They suggest that while these steps might provide a semblance of security, they do not necessarily address the root causes of school violence. A significant portion of this discourse points to significance of mental health interventions and social support systems. Critics argue that by focusing on mental health, we could potentially identify and address the underlying issues that lead to such violent tendencies. Others highlight the need to foster strong social support systems for students, believing that a supportive community could deter violent behavior. Then there's the ever-present debate over gun control. Some passionately advocate for stricter gun control laws, arguing that limiting access to firearms could significantly reduce incidents of gun violence. Others, however, emphasize responsible gun ownership and addressing root causes. They argue that instead of focusing on limiting access to guns, we should work on addressing the factors that lead individuals to consider violence as an option. A contributing role of the rise of social media and a culture of violence is being considered. The influence of social media and the glorification of violence in media and popular culture could potentially encourage violent behavior. Addressing these broader issues is also part of the conversation. This is a sensitive topic. If you or someone you know is in crisis, there are resources available for help and support, such as the Trevor Project, Crisis Text Line, and the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. In conclusion, the history of school shootings in the US is a deeply complex issue. It's an amalgamation of societal and individual factors, from access to firearms to mental health issues, that calls for a multifaceted solution. The conversation continues, as does the hope for safer schools and a safer society.